And good evening everybody, hello and welcome. My name's Paul Grogan and tonight we're going to be doing a four-player tutorial and playthrough of Geode, okay, which is going on Kickstarter, I believe on the 1st of April. Uh, it's been published by District 31, Stuart Garside and Theo Clark of the designers, both UK based, so they've asked me to do this video ahead of time because I needed to get it done before the Kickstarter and of course I'm going away for the next two weeks although I'm probably not going away for the next two weeks. <laughs> but this is the date when I'm planning to do it. So thank you very much to everybody for joining in on the chat. As I say, going to be doing a full tutorial first, uh, and then we're going to be doing a four-player playthrough of it. Uh, the whole video is probably going to last about half an hour because it's a fairly quick game to teach and a fairly quick game to play. Um, so let's let's crack on with it. Right. Oh, and Stuart is here in the chat. Thank you very much, Stuart, for joining in. So I'm going to switch to the overhead view. And here we go. So I'm joined today by Rob, Hello. Paul and Andy. Hi. Right, Geode. What is it about? Um, so it's 1922 archaeologists basically trying to find geological findings. OK, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be placing these tiles. We're going to have a hand of these tiles. You will see that they've got colours and numbers on. OK, and we're going to be placing them into a grid here, which starts off empty. So these tiles are going to be removed and we're going to be placing the tiles into here. What you will do on your turn is you will place a tile from your hand into there and then take a new one from the stack. OK. And we keep going like that until either the tiles have run out or one player has placed all of their markers. OK. Now, before we go any further, I have to say that this is a prototype. The game is not out yet. It's a nice looking prototype, obviously, but it is still a prototype. And these are going to not be plastic tiddlywinks, right? These are going to be these are going to be much nicer counters. Um, and Stuart is saying in the finished game, the numbered tiles all have their own unique color. Yeah, these no. these are all going to be slightly different colors in the final version of the game. So when you place a tile onto the board, you must match all of the existing colors on adjacent tiles. And you have to place it adjacent. You can't put one over here, right? It would have to go adjacent to that. And a purple would have to go onto a purple. And a green would have to go onto a green, etc., etc. In this situation, the only tile that can now go here is one that is blue and green. Okay? That is the only one that can go there. Or except for white. White is diamond, white is a wild card. So there aren't says, many whites. Right, here's a white and a blue. That is allowed to go there, right? That's, that's legal placement. Right, now what you're trying to do is you're trying to complete a geode of four of the same colour, or whites. White, whites can be in there as well. When you do, you mark it with one of your counters, like so, and then you take any one of these tiles. Now, what are the numbers on the back for? Well, what you want to do is you want to add up the numbers there, and that's 14. These are contracts, okay? At the end of the game, if you have a contract for a geode of size 14, you will get the larger victory points that are printed on it. I'm going to just look through these and tell you one. There you go. So if you have this, let's just zoom in a bit. Where's the other, where's the other remote? Oh, it's here. Right, let's just zoom in a little bit. All right, so if you have this tile at the end of the game, because you, or me, because I'm purple, because I have a size 14 geode, I will get five points at the end of the game. If I don't have a size 14 geode, I only get one point. Okay, so my thinking is, not having played the game, that if I complete a size 14 geode, I probably want to draw a tile from this stack. But mm. you don't have to. Right. You could draw a tile from any stack. And the points are only scored at the end of the game. So for example, if I if I decide to do that, and that's worth 14, so I decide to take one from this stack, and I get this, which I will keep secret, I'm now trying to make a size 12 geode somewhere. Because if I do, I'm going to get four points at the end of the game instead of one. OK? This is how you score your points. So at the end of the game, we basically add up the points from all of our contracts, and whoever's got the most will win. And so do you have to hit exactly the contract, or does it just have exactly. to? Exactly. Yeah, okay. yeah, you have to exa exactly that. 
the very fussy, these people that give contracts away. Okay, so that, that's how you win and that's roughly how the game plays. We are going to start with a hand of four tiles each and on your turn you play a tile and then you draw a replacement. So you will always have four tiles in hand. If you cannot legally place a tile on the board, then what happens is you choose any one tile from your hand, okay, and you will put it face up in front of you into your play area. Okay, so you will have a play area in front of you, which is not part of the board. You'll have that in front, and then you'll draw a replacement. And that's your turn done. But on future turns, as soon as that becomes legally playable, you must play it. So you're not missing a turn. You are, but then next turn you get two placements. Okay? Yeah, right. So it's played in addition to your In standard. addition to your standard play. Oh. Okay, so you always play one from your hand. But in addition to that, you play any number from your play area. Now, there is another rule to mention, and that is the play area can only be eight by eight unless the only legal placement you have would take it beyond that. Okay. If as soon as you go beyond that, it extends it one space in that direction for everybody. So it could suddenly become an eight by nine. Yeah. What that means is we might have to actually move the tiles around a little bit because if we start here, right, and then go that way, we might have to just shuffle them all this way a little bit for the camera. Um, and Stuart's saying there are advantages to playing two tiles in a turn. Yes. Now, you can't deliberately not play a tile. I think you have to play a tile if you can. Okay. You can't deliberately say, oh, I can't play a tile and I'll just put this one in front of me. But if you manage to get two or three tiles here, you could basically finish off a geo straight away. Please, you on the honor system. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you could, could you play more than two if you had uh, more than yes. one in your in your play area, area? You play as many of them as you can, wow. and and you must play them all if they are all legally playable. Wow. And you can also play them in any order. So even if the one that you have in your play area can't be played right now, but then you play one from your hand, which then does make it playable, you can do that. You can do them in any order. Okay. Right. Ah, so there's so, a strategy there. Just as a reminder, the game will end when either there are no more tiles to take or one player has played all of their markers. We finish that round so that all players have had the same number of turns and then the game ends and we add up the scores. So we need to decide on a start player. And the one thing that is currently missing is a, uh, something to indicate who the start player is. Um, so as I said, this game is on Kickstarter. It's, go oh, it's going on Kickstarter. And what you're seeing here is, is the current version I have, but the designer has told me that there's going to be some extra potential tiles included in the game that do special abilities, depending on how the Kickstarter does. Barry is here as well. Thank you very much, Barry, for joining in. Right, okay, so. My left or my right? Your left. And then my left or my right? Left. Okay, yellow is the start player. So the minimum number of points you can score per geode is one. Because... I believe so. Every time you do take a geode, you take one of those cards, they're yeah. worth at least one point more if you can tie yeah. it into the right size. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so here you go. Here, have, a you met, have a metal USB <laughs> key that indicates <laughs> that you are the start so, player. Yeah. Right, uh, so the start of the game, we've shuffled these tiles. These need to sort of just go, I mean, we might as well have a pile each. Yeah. Mm, okay. And then spread them around if we, if we need them. But. So we need to sort ourselves out four. Uh, and then everybody gets four. One side, one. Well, no, keep keep these tiles on camera because remember this is an end game. If we put ours there, and if you put your two piles there, we need a few more. There you go. So yeah, you put the token down if you're the person to complete the geode. Ah, there is there is something I've I've missed. I think we start off the grid with one tile. Yeah, well, I think I put it down. No, right? no, no, I don't think so. Hang on, I'm just checking the rules. Um, yeah, the first player draws a tile from any of the exploration stacks and places it right. So, oh, I get it comes from there. It comes okay. from there. It's not yours. Because we played with the wrong rules, of course, didn't we? So, yeah, no, don't take it. 
put that one straight down on the map. Yeah, don't take it. Oh, it right I don't down. get a choice. Don't I literally just choice. put yeah. down the one that. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. Stuart will tell me if that's wrong, but that is something. Uh, oh, hang on a minute. We are transmitting on Facebook as well, which is what the bottom chat window is, which isn't currently working. I'm just going to en enable it. So bear with us a second. If you are watching this on Facebook, we do have Facebook comments live as well. And I probably need to switch that over. There we go. So yeah, I think I think that's right. I think the first player, again, the rule book is still being worked on because it's not a finished game yet, draws a tile from the top of any exploration stack, places it on the table to form the first tile of the grid. Done. Right. So it is your go. Off you go. And yeah, we can keep tiles in our little thing here. You can't place diagonally. No, I'm not going to. Okay. Right, and then you take a new tile. And these next. So I kind of, this is interesting because in a four player game, a lot's going to change before it gets around to me. Yep. Mm -hmm. So I'm a little nervous about playing anything. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, you have to play something. Yeah, and I, and I can legally play something. Careful, Paul, old son. Uh, yeah. What? Yeah, kind of showing me uh, your secrets. Am I? Yes. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to be a very good boy here. I want this on record. What? But I'm, not, <laughs> I'm trying not to look. Don't, don't look at my tiles. I'm going to draw a new one. Don't look, he says, showing them. There the it team. is. First one. The first yeah. blood to me. So that is worth 11, but which tile do you want to draw from? Oh. The one that might be 11, obviously, I think. Okay. Mm. And they stay face down, don't they? Yeah, only you know what's there. Uh, Vincent's here in the uh, in the chat as well, and Theo is here, one of the designers. So thank you very much. Draw token pool. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm just making sure that's on the camera. Yeah. Um, Righty ho. Feels like the eight by eight grid's going to fill up quite quickly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, that's because we keep placing to not. Everyone's trying to not place in a way that gives a third. Mm. No one wants to be wanting another third one. No. Ooh. Yeah, okay. Um, well, I can pick one up. Silly me. Well, unfortunately, I have to put that there. Mm. That's quite fortunate for me, wasn't it? He's got another one from the same stack. Yeah. You show us all that. Well. I know I can. Play it as usual, Paul. Uh, right then. I think that one's legal. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, yeah, currently can go anywhere. Uh, okay, there. Oh, interesting. Mm. Don't forget to draw a replacement, Andy. Oh, yes, keep on forgetting. So, um, okay, so I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to finish that one there. So it is just a six, so I am going to take one from this pile. Okay, and then draw a replacement. Okay, we're ready to go. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's put that one over two, four, there. Put that one there. Actually, maybe we'll put it. No, we'll put, we will put it that way. That one, we'll put it down there. Yeah. We need longer arms. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, we may need to shuffle the board a bit. 
Okay. You claim that? Yeah. Which one do you want? I'm going to go for the, this yep. one. Oh, actually, maybe I should have gone for the next one over. Oh, well. Oh, yes. We want, oh, no. This okay. is secret information. It is secret, yeah. yes. Okay. Yes. Ooh. Okay. Pop that there. Yeah. Into my hands. Oh, how was I to know you had a p red purple? I was, I was actually going to play where you were, went, and then I thought, oh, that actually works for me, doesn't it? So, 9, 10, 11. 11? So, another You're taking one another from one the from same, the same pile. Oh, oh, dear. Which has got to be. Yeah. It's got to be good. Yeah. 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 Well, I've seen the tiles. <laughs> Do you want one of those? Hmm. Uh. Let's put that there. Do you want a new one? Hmm. Two, what are we on? Two, four, five, we are two, on four, six by five six. at the moment. Okay. Um, so I think I want to put this one. No. Awkward. Put that one there. Okay, so we're currently seven by five on the grid. Now to you, Andy. Yes, yes, it is. Hmm. Yeah, definitely a lot more choice with more tiles. Yeah. Pop your marker on it. Oh, sorry. Yes, thank you for the reminder. That's a green. Take them off from here. Yep. It's a popular stack. Mm. If you get the right scores. So. Um, right, okay. I'm going to put that one on there. And take a replacement. So, so far we've all been able to place. That rule about if you can't place mm. hasn't kicked in yet. Mm. Okay. We're going to need some more there. Aren't you? Oh. Set myself up for that. I sneaked in and got it. Uh, it's eleven. Thank you. Going uh, for the same stack again? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much got to really. Oh, let's take another tile. Seven. Seven by five. Okay, got one. So that's eleven. I'll take one from here. Set myself up for that one. You took it. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's the game, isn't it? Yeah, mm -hmm. certainly with four players. Mm -hmm. That's not enough, is it? Mm. That's uh, okay. I'll have to take that one then. Put that in there for me, please, Rob. Yep. That's only nine, isn't it? Yep. Okay. Let's pop one of your markers on. Not ready for completion. Nope. Can Set I one go, up for us. That would can be. Can I go anywhere? I can go there. That works. Uh, yeah, that's nice. And 
still go in that direction. Are we still on camera? Not quite. So I'm just going to shuffle this that way a bit. There we go. Obviously, you won't need to do that unless you're filming it at home. <laughs> right. Me? Yeah. Yeah, right. Hmm. It's a bit trickier now. How are we? We're seven, aren't we? Yeah. Um, seven, seven to seven. Um, okay, I'm going to put, no, 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 I don't want to do that. Crazy talk. Let's put that like that and draw a new one. Ugh. That was, I don't know, you had a red blue again. Put on you. Taken. Right, yeah, right. So as soon as Paul places his last one, that will be the last round of the game. Yeah. And I think that's going to happen before these tiles run out. I think it is. Yeah. Paul needs to get one more. So. Go on, Andy. He's gone in with an early wild card. Mm, Leaving it open. Yeah. I have a seven to nine, please. There you go. But not left anything for little old me. Trying not to play so that it helps somebody else. I'll put that there. We're still seven by seven, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. We are. So you can go one more like in any maybe direction. Maybe not for much longer. Hmm. Mm. Left anything? There's a lot of thinking going on here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> surprisingly strategic. Uh, That's what I'm doing. He's left another Whoa. one open for Rob. Who's in? There it is. There double it red. is. The double five, double red. Am I, uh, so it's fourteen. Ten to fourteen. You want the last one from the ten to fourteen stack? Thank you. So there are no more of those available. Right. And again, left me nothing. Four, three, two, four. We are eight. That's eight that way and seven as well. Yeah. So you can extend it, but only if you can't do something else. But again, we don't have to prove that we can't do it. No. Just, it's all trust. Well, I'm not going to put that there. That would be crazy. I'll put it there instead. Okay. okay. Yeah, now I've got to play my double purple. I should have kept it. Uh, I go. I can go there. No, pound, pound there. Uh, ah. May be in a position of oh. having to. Let's just see whether there is somewhere. Have you got any legal placements? So you can still do another line. Oh, can this I? Way. Yeah. Oh, right. any, for any purple will go on there so, anyway. Yeah. yeah. Oh, fine. Or any blue on there. Yeah, any red there. Still go vertically. Yeah. If you've got blue, red, or a purple, you can place without giving someone the risk of points. Green or yellow, you can place and give someone points. Okay, there. Okay. Okay. Can you draw? No, I keep on forgetting. Thank you. So that's. Is that our eight? 
four, that is our eight. Eight. Mm -hmm. So we are eight by eight. The grid is formed. Okay. Well, I can tell you, you get one turn each now. Because I can't see Paul blocking me. Because you're going to be able to finish it? Yeah. Because well, that's you not good. Your double purple down, and I already had one. Hmm? You put your double purple down, and I already had one. In I the did, hand, so. but if I had uh, a wild card. Yeah. Which I don't. <laughs> there are not many wild cards I in the I don't deck. really have well, very much, to be honest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think the last time we played, only two came out, but then we were only playing two players. So. But can I put one down that I would then be able to complete later? Possibly. Who knows? Let's put that there. Draw replacement. So okay. Paul's going to trigger the end of the game. Yeah. All right. That's it. Is it. Does it end immediately? No. Yeah, one turn each, because that's why I've got the key. So Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. nine so another one of those. Yeah, so you get eight placement opportunities. Yeah, your last go, Andy. Oh, it's only gonna got it. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so that's twelve. There are no twelves left. But <laughs> where would so, you like? It doesn't, so it doesn't matter for you because all of yours fall between ten and fourteen. Take a big one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got that. Big, big one's three points anyway. So I'll take a seven to nine as well, please. Right. So what have you left me with? Nothing. Oh, that's a ten. Well, purple, okay. red. Yeah, I haven't got purple, red. I can do that. You can. And it's eight. It's eight. We'll do that. Right. So the game is over. What we now do is we reveal all of our tiles, okay. and we'll go through, starting with me, because I'm pretty sure I'm last. Okay. Yeah, I think I've only hit two of these. So I've got a contract for a size five. I don't think I've got a five. I've got an eight, an eleven, and a six. So I got the eight, I got the eleven, but I didn't get that. So I have I have thirteen points. Okay? Yeah. So my score is thirteen. Right. Should we do Rob's next? Because prob Rob's probably okay. third. So I think I've got fourteen with this one, which was In fact we can take him off when they're scored because you yeah. can only yeah. score each yeah. one yeah. once. Well, I'll take mine off now. Yeah, so where's your... That far red one, please. That one. That is a 14. It's 14. So you so can just pop that on there. Scored. Pop the marker on there. Yeah. Thank you. And then your other one is... And then I've got a 10, three. I think, which is this one here. Oh, uh, I see. Uh, which one was it? No, that was 9. Uh, right, we can take this off. This is a 9. Have you got a 9? No. 10. 10? It is 10, yeah. It is 10. So, yeah. So that goes on there. Okay. This one is a uh, 13. Nope. Nope. That's just and this is uh, an 8. Eight. Which, yeah. yes. No, you do have. Eight. Right. Okay. So your score is the gold 18. plus the silver. Eighteen. You'd probably beat me. All oh, right. Okay. Because I think I've only hit two of these. Right. Yeah. Five. Yeah. So those those three I hit. That one I didn't. So okay. Eight. So what was I? I was. I was. What was I? I was thirteen, wasn't I? No. Can't remember now. I might be wrong, but I think I only hit two. Of them. Right. Well, we'll do yours next. Okay. So. So I'll take him off. This is a nine. That's a nine. So I've got a nine. Okay. So put that on there. I'm, I'm so pretty sure there's an eleven there somewhere. If you cover up the silver coin, it'll make it obvious. Yeah, 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 yeah. It makes it obvious to the, to the people watching on the camera. So this is eleven. That's eleven. So again, we'll cover up the silver coin. Yeah. And I think that's possibly the only two I hit. You have a nine. Oh, we don't have a nine. Okay. You have um, an eight. Nope. Okay. You have a 12? No. Nope. And you have a 10? No. Nope. Okay, so pop them on the gold ones. Yeah, that's easy, and then you can just add yeah. up the... Yeah. So you have scored? Uh, 14, 15, 16, 18. What was yours? 18. Yours was 18 as yeah. well. Yeah, okay. 18. So right, getting, Andy. Getting the most geodes isn't necessarily the winner. No. Nope. We have here a 12. Yeah, I've got one. Okay. have got two so, 12s. So pop that over the silver number. You have here a 13. Yeah, I've got one 13. We have a 10. Yeah, I've got 10. We have uh, an 11. No 11. Okay. And we have an 11. Oh, right. No. Okay. So two 11. So cover up, the, cover up the gold. the gold numbers and then add yours up. Uh, so that's 13, 14, 17. 17. Okay. Right, I thought you'd got that. So yeah, me definitely in last, and then 17, and then two 18s. Yeah. Now, I need to check the rules for a tiebreaker. 
Is it fifty cups? It might be. Fantastic. Car park. Um, well, it's going to be the highest number of things, I suspect. Yeah, I wouldn't surprise you. You managed to get six down, there, yeah. Right, so there are no tie breaks in this particular rule book, but bearing in mind this is a prototype copy of the game, Stuart will tell us <laughs> most contracts. <laughs> so most contracts yeah. is the tie break. And Stuart is actually saying in the rules, you put the scored tiles on the grid and the non scored tiles in your play area. That would have worked. Oh, so you, yeah. you should have put that there. Yeah, okay. But yeah, yeah, yeah. However you do it, just make sure you you keep track of it. So there we go. So we have a winner with Paul on the tie break, and yeah, even though you only got four, yeah, they were valuable ones. I actually slipped up because I could have got that as a thirteen, but in, in the last turn, right, that Andy got, yeah. But I was so because I was already fixed on the fact that I was going to do that yeah, purple, yeah, yeah. and I played for it. I did it, and then Andy did that one. I thought, oh, I could have got a 13 there. Yeah. Mm. So there we well, go. Yeah. Right. I, yeah, I'll have four yellow in my hand, so. so yeah, that was just a very quick. Yeah, pretty strategic. Tutorial and playthrough video of Geode. It's going on Kickstarter on the 1st of April. Um, I will put links in the show notes of this once the Kickstarter page has gone live. Uh, thank you very much to Stuart and Theo for joining in the chat. Thank you very much for everybody else for joining in the chat. Thank you for, you playing, for playing this evening. Thanks, and I'll see you all next time. Cheers all. Bye.